Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I've become a feudal lord and I'm sure this will go great. So my girlfriend gifted me this game probably a few years ago now and it's been in development the entire time. It's a small indie game so it's not that surprising. And it's it's pretty good. So we'll start by building our peasants well, we're going to build them a house, but you have to put down roads first. I see they've just built this road. And we're building them a house as well. It's a little hovel thing. I'm sure we'll be fine in it. They don't exactly need anything more fancy than a hovel. I mean, they are they are peasants. Probably better than whatever they were in before. And I want to cut down these trees over here to get more resources. And also clear out a bit of space near those rocks on the left-hand side. So I've only got five peasants right now. And I've only got five beds, or some advisors here, and uh, yeah, I don't think we need their help. We'll be fine, I'm sure. So that's a fair bit of wood we've got there, so we should probably get some farms down. And now the farms are built. So we skip ahead a little bit, cut down some more trees, build some more roads. I see I built an extra house, and uh, I'm going to build more. But first, I build a quarry. So we can get some stone, so I can build fancier things. Because most things to build require stone. Though I'm wanting some stone to build a big manor. Most of my peasants are now working in the quarry. That quarry is taking up like about... Probably about half my manpower. Not great. Build some more houses there, I'm sure we'll be fine. We also got some charcoal being produced, got the forest is building up. We also built a well. The general quality of life is improving, so... I'll build this quarry here, and never mind, it's already been smited by god. And apparently they're celebrating as soon as it's set on fire. Now the village is now, well, a small village. It's... Look at it, it's on fire, it's burning. I'll just build a well here, I'm sure... I'm sure the peasants can deal with it. We haven't even built it yet. No, we didn't even... We haven't even laid down any materials. They're just running into the fire with wood. That's not a good idea. Okay, they've put the they put the fire out now. There's nothing to burn down anyway. It was literally just some plans next to a rock, and it's set on fire. <laughs> oh dear. So a merchant's arrived. So you can see we've expanded a little bit, but the merchant's arrived. I want to make a bit of money. I've only got 15 gold. So let's see what's sat in our port. I've got some food sat there. You can. Can always sell the peasants' food. I'm sure they don't need that. Sell the stone as well. And sell the wood as well. You can always sell what's set inside the port itself. And now we're going to set up a little town square. Put it right here, right in the middle. They provide happiness for all the villagers. And... There's a skull of people. What's what's wrong with them? I, I actually don't know what's wrong with them. Let's click on them. They like the home. Very thank- very, very good. Very good. I'm not really why what I'm asking you about, but sure, if you like your home, that's that's good. What's wrong with them? Like, we have plenty of food, so they're not starving. They've got wells around, so they're not out of water. Um, I'm not really sure. Is there anything around here that could suggest what it is? I don't see anything. There's a clinic. There's a hospital. Are they ill? They might be ill. That costs money. I think they have the plague. That's... Yeah, that's a problem. I can't afford a hospital. That's too expensive. And a clinic doesn't sound like it's gonna do the job for, for the plague, is it? There's dead people littering the floor now. Um... That's not good. That's not good. How do we solve this problem? If we can't afford a hospital, what other options are there? That's a lot of dead people. That is that's a very high number of dead people. It's fine, we'll just build a cemetery. It's fine. It's better than a hospital, right? 
I mean, it does the same thing. Also, that house is on fire right next to the cemetery. I, I hope it doesn't spread. We've only just built the cemetery. We we'll have to expand it as well. And build some some more space for them to bury people right next to the cemetery. I mean, that costs quite a lot, but it's still cheaper than a hospital. So problem solved. We'll just bury people instead of healing them. That way, if they have the plague, they're still out of the way. Okay, the cemetery is built. And they're really quickly filling up that graveyard. Really quickly. Okay, one graveyard is already full. And they're filling up another one. That's slightly concerning. But it proves that a hospital would have been massively overwhelmed by the plague. And therefore, a graveyard is a better option. I'm sure my peasants love me. And a merchant's arrived. And you know what we can do when a merchant arrives? Just, you know, well not buy that. We don't, we don't have a blister anyway. We can just sort of sell all of their food. Like, all of it. And now I have a famine. <laughs> Beautiful. Exactly how, how we should run a kingdom. But at least we have money, right? So I'll build a few more farms. Just a few more. We already have like 136 people that don't have jobs, so they could do with more farms. But with all that food, we can go colonize. Because during the middle of a famine, the best thing to do is colonize, right? So with the colony, it's basically just like starting again, but just from a different location. It basically just gives you the ability to spread out. They're building a dock, we can connect with the mainland. And if we connect with the mainland, we can import loads of things. We also need to build some basic stuff, such as a house. That might be useful, they're all homeless. So we build a few things, and you can see we've just imported a lot of food. Like, a lot of grain. And a bit of stone as well, because there's no stone nearby. And we can build everything again. And the cycle of life continues, or death, or whatever I'm putting them to. Who knows, they're not very happy. 28% happiness. Oh dear. Well, I think I'll end it here, because we only all we're going to do is end up making more colonies, and making everyone even more happy and more dead. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you thought of this video. I quite like this game, and... Goodbye.